give the Lord a hand of praise. Praise the Lord. Lord a hand of praise. He's been, he's been mighty good. He's been mighty good to us. And I thank God for his grace and his mercy. His grace and mercy. We had a good time Friday night. Amen. Yes, we did. Yes, Amen. We did. I celebrated Dalton Baptist, my home church, my first church I joined at the right age, about seven. And I accepted the Lord as my Savior when I was about nine years old. Uh, and they had their 75th anniversary service. And on top of that, they were able to pay off their mortgage. Wasn't that wonderful? Amen, amen, amen. That was beautiful.
but made himself of no reputation. Yes. And took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, mm -hmm. even the death of the cross. Yes. Wherefore God hath also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above all names. Yes. But at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow uh -huh. of things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeah. To the glory of God the Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the house Amen. of the Lord. Amen. The grass withers and the flower fades, but yes. the word of our Lord shall stand forever. And I'll be using for a subject power in the name of Jesus. Wow. Come on. Power it in like this. the name of Jesus. Wow. Verse 10. Come on. Amen. Power in the name yes, of Jesus. Sir. We say wonder working power in the precious blood yeah, of the Lord. That today. I heard a preacher once say, Pastor Clark, that the only unbelievers are on earth. The only unbelievers are on earth. Right. Because people who've gone on, right. whether they went up or down. Or down they believe. That's right. Earth is the only place where there is unbelievers. So what is in a name? Just the mention of someone's name sets off a chain reaction of thoughts in our mind. Mm -hmm. Someone's name brings to our minds that person who bears it. How many know it's good to have a good name? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful to have a good name. Because many folks have bad names. Yes. And I want my name to be associated with love. Yes. Warmth, giving, long suffering. Uh -huh. um, a person who loves the people of God. You know. I don't want my name to be associated with don't pay bills. Right. <laughs> Not a man of this word. A liar, a thief. Yes. We don't want bad names. Right. So that name is a reflection of who you are. Yes. And when you mention someone's name, we think about all the experiences about that person. And oftentimes, we subconsciously think about things we've heard about that person. Yes. But we got to be careful of what you hear. Yes. Come on here, sir. Because people would rather listen to a lie. Yes. Than the truth. Yes. They hear some good gossip about you, but maybe a lot of people will yeah. run with you. Yeah. Good gossip. As opposed to saying, hey, that's a wonderful woman. Now go spread that news. That's right. Thank you, Lord. But if I say that woman, and you know, she's a this or she's a that, my Lord, everybody here is perk up and they want to go take it to the next person. Yeah. And you can quickly destroy someone's good name. The mention of Jesus' name evokes feelings in all of us. Yes. So what does this name mean to those who know him? Yes. Come how on, many of you all know the Lord? You better preach it. For those of us who know Jesus Christ as Lord, his name means Jesus. Yes. Or Yeshua or our Savior. Come on. And when we hear the name of Jesus, we think of God incarnate. Uh-huh. We think of the baby born in a manger. Yes. Uh, we think of his healing and his compassion. Yes. We think of the agony of Gethsemane. Uh huh. Uh, we think of the cross of Calvary on Golgotha's hill. That's right. And Come we think on, about an empty tomb. Uh huh. And we think about the blood shed that you and I may have life. Yes. And when we hear the name of Jesus, we think of forgiveness and eternal life. How many of you all thank God for yes, eternal Lord. life? Amen. Eternal life. Amen. I recall
cross since the days of the Bible study, we talked about how God has made us in his image. Yes. He Come said, on. let us make man after our, our image. image. So we're made in mind, body, and soul. Yes. And this body will go back to the dirt. The dirt. But that soul has to go yes. somewhere. Yes, sir. And folks like, how can a loving God yes, sir. send someone to eternal damnation? Yes. Why don't he just obliterate you or just let you go away to nothingness? Uh -huh. But I say, when God blew in the rock, the this Holy Spirit into us and made man a living being, yes, we sir. became like God. We became an eternal being. Yes, sir. God can't die. No, can't. So on. your spirit can't die. So it is so imperative to understand where you choose on this duration called life. Yes. Right. Some of us live short lives. And some of us have lived long lives. Amen. 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 And as I get older, I'm thankful because a lot of friends didn't make it. No. You know, they didn't right. make it. Some of them just did not make it they past the teens or the twenties or the thirties. So as I hit fifty one, I thank the Lord. That's that he right. has blessed me oh, with sorry. long life. Yeah. And on top of that, he's given me a moderation of health. Yes. Uh -huh. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He's given all of us and he a moderation yeah. of health. Yeah. You got up this morning. Yes. yes, sir. I believe you ate something, some food last night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I believe you had a, a nice pillow to lay your head on. Yes. I believe many of us have probably driven here or walked here this morning. Yes, sir. Amen. So you didn't have to have someone dress you. <laughs> if you didn't have someone Amen. dress you this morning, on, you are thankful that God has given you a moderation Amen. of strength yes, and health. Yes, sir. He's a good God. Yes. yes, he is. So what does it mean for those who don't know him? Yes. Because some of them, they may think he was a, a good teacher. Yes, sir. Some may think he was just a good man. Some may want to have went to church and heard some childhood Bible stories about him. Mm -hmm. And most people have an opinion of Jesus. An opinion. But that opinion is usually oh, not sir. formed by reading the Bible or attending church on a daily service, daily, daily worship week. Yes. Do you know how most lost people form their opinions about Jesus? By the words and actions of those who claim to know Jesus. Yeah. You may be the only book or Bible that somebody reads. Yes, sir. And we bear his name wherever we go. Yes. Just by calling ourselves Christians, we are bearing Jesus. his name. Jesus. And the word Christian identifies us as followers of Christ. Yes. And when we call ourselves Christians, we identify with Jesus. See, most of us have heard things about Jesus, but nothing speaks louder than the actions of those who claim to know him. Yes. How many know we are witnesses of Jesus Christ? Yes. And we are witnesses in this world. Yes, Lord. Now, we can be a positive bearer yes. of the name of Jesus and lift him up and give him all the glory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or conversely, we can be negative bearers of Christ. Yes, yes Lord. And how many know people are so quick to call Christians hypocrites? Yes, Lord. The Bible says in Galatians, Paul says, you have given them yes. the reason to provoke my name. Amen. It was you who have given them the reason to denounce my name. Yes. Because they see how you act. Don't tell me you love me. Come on. Show me. Hallelujah, sister. Don't tell me you love me. Come on. I want somebody to show me, show me. that you love me. How many know actions speak loud? Louder than words. words. Than words. Come on, sir. See, people will tell you everything you want to hear. But I'm saying your actions are so loud I can't hear nothing you say. You say. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. So we can tear down the name of Jesus with our personal lives. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And some bear the name of Jesus and live like the devil. Yes. Yeah. Listen. Come on. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, Lord. Some of y'all know people who proclaim to be Christians, yes. but they act just like 
the devil. Yes, Lord. They yes, Lord. act yes. just like the world. I believe when they come to church, they take off their Christian suit and hang it on the back to next Sunday. Yes. Then they go out there on Monday and act just like the heathens yes, out there. Some of y'all know people like that. Yes, we do. But one thing you have to make sure is you don't live like that. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. If you were to go to court and be convicted, would you be convicted for being a Christian? Yes. Or would you be set free for being acting like a heathen? Hallelujah or ouch. Hallelujah or ouch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They can tell you what the Bible says about a subject and follow up with the dirtiest jokes you ever heard. Hallelujah, somebody. Well, they, they tell everybody. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. I knew, a, I knew a young lady who said she was a, a woman of God, but every time we talked, she was dropping the F bombs and this bombs. And I'm like, come on, you know what? You know what? Not quick to judge somebody. Right, that's right. right. Because it says we have one finger pointing and three pointing back at you. Right. But as Christians, we yes. ought to hold each other accountable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're not here to judge the world. Yes, sir. Because God has already judged them, and those who don't know Jesus have already been condemned. Yeah. But we as Christians are told to hold each other accountable. Yeah. See, they tell everybody they say no the Lord and go to church, then they prove the world just how much it means to be in the world. They act just like lost people. Lost people, sir. What does the life of this person say about the name uh -huh. of Jesus Christ? Right. Wow. It tells the world that Jesus is powerless to change your life. Yes, Lord. How many know we have a new life? A new oh, life. Yeah. How many know we have a new life? A new I hear folks say, you know, I was born this way. I said, you can be born again. Hey, hey, that's it. Hallelujah, hey, somebody. Right, I heard right, right, you right. can be born again. Right. All of us are built with a proclivity. Yes, to, we're, we're bent towards sin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put one sin above the other sin. Yes, sir. But we all have a proclivity, yes, sir. a propitiation to want to be something Come on. other than a power of Christ. Yes, sir. Preaching good now. But hallelujah, yes, God, are. one day, yes, sir. he picked me up, yes. turned me around, yes. placed my feet on the side of the ground, brought me Christ, the side of the rock I yes. Yes, sir. All other ground is all right. Jesus and have no love. Come on here. 
How many know the Bible says in the New Testament you fulfill all the law? Yeah. Just by love. Do you know people who are loving? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. No. See, they're the ones who, in the name of Jesus, everyone sees everyone's problems, everyone's than their own. The yes, ones who don't, who say love, but they don't love. But they don't. They're the ones who are all law and no grace. I feel like having church. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, see, they have no concept of their own no thoughts, yes. but they're always completely aware about your faults. About your faults. What those what those saying? Um, clean up your house. Yes. What you doing? What that, that saying? Say, clean up your house. Yes. Sweep around your own front yard. Hallelujah, somebody. Sweep around mine. Sweep around your own. Before you sweep around mine. They claim the benefit of God's forgiveness, but they don't give anyone else the same benefit. What does this person say about the name of Jesus Christ? It tells the world that Jesus offers no hope to those who need help. Yes. It tells the world that Jesus has no mercy and grace for the sinner. It him. tells the world that they can't find forgiveness in Jesus. How many know God has forgiven you? Yes, I've forgiven. I've been forgiven. I'm forgiven. I have been forgiven. I'm forgiven. Yes. So I'm commanded yes. to God. forgive. Mm. That's one of the things that separates a Christian from the world. Yes. We have to love and we have to forgive. Yes. Confirmation. Hallelujah, yes. somebody. Yes, Lord. We can tear down the name of Jesus with our corporate lives. Yes. Come on. When, this is when the church drags the name of Jesus through the mud. Yes, sir. Nothing has destroyed the works of the Lord more than a church where Jesus is not the focus. Yes. Come on, sir. Hallelujah. Yes. Somebody. Although they bear the name of Jesus. Everything else does, does not bear his name. Yes. That's right. These are the type of churches of what make old folks say the famous hypocrites. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hypocrite. 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 What hurts so bad is that many times they're true. They yeah. are true. Many churches are true. full of hypocrites. Talent, talent, talent. Hallelujah, yes. somebody. So I said, what does hypocrite mean? Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. It means that you are an actor. Yes. Well, thank God. Hallelujah, yes. somebody. Yes. You, are, you are playing church. Yes, Lord. I said, there's a difference between Preacher a church now. person yes. and a real Christian. Yes, Lord. See, some folks have just been church. Yes, sir. They know all the the, the things we do in church. They know how to say hallelujah and how. They know all the sayings, they know all the rituals and all the traditions, and they run around, but their lives are hypocritical because do you wonder why you cannot have your fans or your young ones come to church because they see the real thing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They see it. They see you. Yes, Lord. Say, how can you say you love? But don't love your own son at home. Oh, sir. My God. Why are you so mean to us? us. What mean and nasty and sorely. But then you go to church and you go, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But get, get home and you're meaner than a junkyard dog.
but you should not be mad all the time. All the time. <laughs> Come on, sir. up in this church yes, today. But when you know you've been changed, when you know you've been washed by the blood of the Lamb, when you know you've been washed in the Word, yes. you should be different. Yes, yeah. sir. Solid. Different. Different. Loving. I love you. Yes, sir. Yes. And I'm going to show you I love you. Yes, show me. And love you sometimes me. also show means me. show amen. Me. Every name. 
Every knee shall bow. Yes, sir. Every knee under the earth. Hallelujah, somebody. Every knee on the earth. Hallelujah, somebody. Every knee in heaven. That's right. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue will confess that Jesus.